Hey guys, my name is Melissa and welcome to the new Snapshot 14W32A. Let's go quickly through it. There's a whole bunch of really cool stuff. One thing I'm particularly excited about, but uh, I think we should go through this fairly quickly. So, armor stands, pretty cool thing. Uh, it's in a lot of mods and stuff, so it's nothing totally new to me. But you just right click with your armor to put it on. Doesn't matter which way you're facing. It just puts it on, looks really cool, makes you look really rich if you have one of these in your house. Um, to get it off, you just right click, and see if I right click here, it's just going to put it back on. So you need to right click with an empty spot in your inventory, like that, and it's really simple. How you build it is also really cheap. Um, it sticks in a half slab. Um, the person I, wa I watched a video and they said any half slab would work, but not wooden half slabs. It has to be any one of these and the nether half slab. They all work, just not wood half slabs. As far as I, as far as I can see. So again, this is. The, we, let me just craft it to show you, and I'll just use bricks just to show you that it works. He's gonna put it across here, 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 and bricks. As you can see, doesn't really matter which one. And if I build it with bricks. It's still gonna look the same. You can put on an angle like that. So let's put this armor away and head on to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing is red sandstone. We got red sand back when the Mesa biomes came out and these cool biomes and stuff. But now there's red sandstone. It's pretty much it's exactly the same story as sandstone. So you just craft the, these four blocks together and you create sandstone. And then you can create sand with sandstone. You can create the other cool things. Let me just show you here. Just like that, and you got some red sandstone, and then these are all the same recipes as the, like, smooth sandstone is the same as red smooth sandstone. You get the picture, all the same. Next thing is coarse dirt, and if I go into creative here and grab a uh, diamond hoe. By the way, coarse dirt can be found in biomes, and this is special because grass does not spread onto it like this dirt does. See how this is dirt? Let me get some dirt to compare it. Dirt, uh, grass will grow into this, but not onto this. If you just, uh, with a diamond hoe, it just changes into normal dirt. So that's pretty cool. Just a quick little feature there. Now this is what I love. Colored beacons. If you put a piece of glass on top of this, it's going to change the color. So let me show you here. It changes back. Oops. You have shift and right click. And it's going to go up. What I find really cool, though, is this. I found this on my own. The person I watched the video of did not find this out, so I feel kind of special. But just wait for a second. See, it changes red there. If we put yellow on top or bottom of the red glass, this is going to change to, like, an orangish color. Because, look, if we change this, it's brighter yellow. So you can kind of mix colors together and see what you get. That's kind of like an ugly green. This is like a bright neon green. And as you can see, it just changes if you add more colors. So I think that's really cool. I don't know. Maybe I just like colors. Who knows? Okay, so this is something that's extremely simple that I thought of. I don't know if all of you watch Etho, but he made an arena with capture points. So it's a PvP arena, and the teams wanted to capture points on the map to get points. Um, so he made it so the beam would turn black through a glitch. But now it's, it's way cooler. It's way easier as well. Um, he can just say, if the green team has captured the point, you can just have a machine that does that and change the beacon to a green capture point. And this is like the marker that it's a capture point. Or if the red team captures it, or if the white team captures it, you just take this back and it's suddenly the white teams again. So I, I just thought that was really cool um, that you can do stuff like that now. The last change, this was not in this snapshot, it was in the snapshot before it. So I don't know if you guys know about it. I didn't know about it. But if we turn our sounds all the way up, uh, bloop, 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 uh, that can stay down, that can stay down. We just get a bit louder volume. I'm not sure if you'll be able, able to hear it, but when you kill these guys, they uh, make a sound now. They never did. They also have a tail. So I don't know if you can see it because they kind of follow you, but they have a little bit of tail now. So, but if we kill this guy, he has a nice little dying sound. It's so, it's so cute and sad, but they now make sounds when they die and stuff. And one last thing, I'm not really good with all these commands, as I said earlier and all this stuff. But in 31A, I believe it was, they made it so you can turn off the AI of uh, mobs. So basically, they just, they just stand there. They don't respond to gravity. They don't move. They just stand there. They can float, whatever, wherever you place them. The only thing they can do is, like, take damage and get killed. But you can turn off their AI so they just stand there like zombies. Get it? Anyways, so uh, that was the Minecraft snapshot. As you can see, these have both grown to grass now. Um, and that's pretty much it. A uh, really cool update. Um, I really like this, as you, as you might have been able to tell. 
Um, yeah, I just can't wait for 1.8 to come out. Like, it's been so long. So I think that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. It's a cool update. I can't wait. And by the way, if you guys, uh, doesn't matter like that. Well, that's a cool color, almost purple. It's purple. Okay, S see you guys later. Bye.